with governmental quasi power, but the shareholders are private, and it was in the newspapers in 1913 and never again. The, it, it's a state secret how much the Queen of England's worth or how much the Queen of the Netherlands or the King of the Netherlands is worth. It's a state secret how much money the Federal Reserve's got and who owns it. And when Alan Greenspan gets asked about that, when he was the head of the Fed, he says, we're above the law. No one can investigate us. In fact, can we pull that clip up? Alan Greenspan says the Federal Reserve is above the law for new listeners. Congress makes the laws. Congress raises the taxes. How did we get to a private bank that calls itself the Federal Reserve? I mean, I could open a federal pizzeria and hire some New York Italians to run it. It'd probably have good pizza, but it wouldn't be federal. Just like Federal Credit Union isn't federal, or Federal Express isn't federal, or Federal Ammunition isn't federal. In the old days, a federal bank was trusted because you could redeem gold at them. So old timers in 1913, who were just a few decades out of the last century and riding around on mules in the desert, they thought that sounded really credible. Well, that's a federal bank. That's what we need. It needs to run it. Not all these robber barons who they had running news articles all over the country saying they were against the Federal Reserve to trick the public into supporting it. They still couldn't get the support, if you go back and read the newspapers. So they passed it on December 23rd at 11.55 at night, a quorum call of three senators. You say, how'd they do it? That's the committee system. They got their underlings to vote in committee to let them be able to have a quorum call. They did a quorum call and nobody was there at 11 o'clock at night. They'd all gone away for Christmas to eat turkeys and hams. This is the coup over the country. And you got Al Sharpton and, and, and George Soros and the White House and the Justice Department who shipped thousands of guns into Mexico, killed thousands of people, hundreds here, involved in Benghazi, funding ISIS, every crime you can imagine, saying they're taking over the media, internet kill switches, doubling black unemployment, massively increasing funding for black abortions. You talk about decimating the black community, but it doesn't matter. They'll get up there and go at every funeral Obama sends it, folks, or he goes and Trayvon looks like his son and he cares. Talk about manipulation, and now the answers federalize the police. And funny, this happened in Baltimore with the mayor, who's one of three mayors on that commission on federalizing police with Obama, and it happened in a city where the entire city council, except for one person, is black. The, the police chief, last time I checked, was black. More than half the force is black. Three of the cops that supposedly killed this guy in wrongdoing are black. And then last night, there was a backfire in downtown Baltimore, and people started rioting again, basically, saying that people got out in the streets and got ready to start going crazy because the police said, okay, we think shots were fired by an officer. They believe the mob of people being manipulated who don't speak for most Baltimoreans. You can see the whole plan unfolding. I told you over and over again, and now they're saying it. And I can't believe that even USA Today has an article. Want a lawless police force? Federalize it. And that says it all. Because if you have a federal government that's been captured, run by foreign interest, following UN treaties shutting off the power plants outside of law, opening the borders outside of law, raising taxes, Obama says, outside of law with executive power, and you've got a dictatorial federal government that takes orders from foreign, corporate, and governmental interest, are you a conquered nation? We are, by the very definition, like colonial China or colonialized Africa or Latin America. We have been captured. We have been manipulated. We have been divided and conquered, as Martin Luther King warned. This is a protest.
And this is a riot. If you can't tell the difference, then you are part of the problem. Infowars.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. Hi, this is this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the lean manufacturer and nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. It's time to build your own emergency food stockpile with the industry leader, My Patriot Supply. Once you try them, you'll know why so many Americans like you have made them part of their emergency preparedness plan. Experience the My Patriot Supply difference today with this unbelievable offer. Right now, a four-week food supply is only $99, and that includes free shipping. That's 50% off the online price. Call 800-274-3070 to claim yours. Limit two per caller while supplies last. This offer isn't available online, so you want to make sure and grab this opportunity to get prepared today. 800-274-3070 to get your four-week food supply for the incredible price of only $99, and it'll be shipped to you completely free. Call 800-274-3070 right now. That's 800-274-3070 to claim yours while supplies last. Don't wait. Call today. So on Mother's Day, when the rest of you are doing tulips and daisies, Mark and I are taking his mom out to fire her brand new AR-15 built from her AR-15 rifle kit that he bought her at guns80.com for Mother's Day. And guess what? She actually helped put it together. She built the gun herself. Mark's mom is pretty awesome. So on Mother's Day, we're going to lunch, and then we're going to the range, and Mark's mom is going to show us how it's done. Get your mom the perfect Mother's Day gift at guns80.com. Get an AR-15 kit. Guns80.com. Go to guns80.com. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor, period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KDArmor.com. Come and take it. I can see for miles and miles and miles and miles. Here's what Alan Greenspan has to say about the private Federal Reserve that has dominated this country through fraud. He says it's above the law. What is the uh, proper relationship? What should be the proper relationship between a chairman of the Fed and a president of the United States? Well, first of all, the Federal Reserve is an independent agency, and that means basically that uh, there is no ag other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. 
So long as that is in place and there is no evidence that the administration or the Congress or anybody else is uh, requesting that we do things other than what we think is the appropriate thing, then what the relationships are uh, don't frankly matter. And that's done with a straight face by a mild-mannered, well-spoken, friendly little old man who takes his little doggy for walks. He actually headed up the cartel that launders over a trillion dollars in drug money worldwide, $500 billion a year in North America alone. Look it up. So understand something. The private Federal Reserve, no oversight from any government agency, not Congress, nothing. It's private. But, oh, my gosh, we can't have the states have any independence. And we've got to have the world government through the U.N., who's already telling the Justice Department what to do on guns, you name it, and on borders, telling us what to do with our police departments, with city councils we elect and we control. Oh, but it's all done to stop racism, right? We talked about it last week, and I said I wanted to get it organized and do it. If you want, I'll call the shots. I'll pick the day of the Planned Parenthood. Uh, or you guys could, and we need to send out folks and call for folks to join our reporters to hold up signs, Black Lives Matter, outside of Planned Parenthood. Because Obama says black communities are basically at a disadvantage. They were actually at an advantage being suppressed. It made them stronger. I'm not saying the oppression was good. It just did what Nietzsche said and what Victor Hugo said and what Carl Jung said and every other philosopher and psychologist said that Prosperity makes monsters, adversity makes men. But we know now what's happened to the black community. It's been destroyed. And the very same science of control is being deployed now against everyone. And you can see it. American culture's dead. The family's pretty much dead. We're in free fall. We're a debtor nation with 100 million people on welfare. And... We now have race, tribal politics, and total ignorance. And young people, I don't care what color they are, don't even talk to each other. They play video games and play on iPads all day. We are in free fall. Fighting with each other down the toilet. Let's go ahead and go to Al Sharpton with the next phase of the conquering of America. We've been fighting them all over the country, which is why we're going to do this march from here to uh, Washington. We need the Justice Department to step in and take over policing in this country. In the 20th century, they had to fight states' rights and to get the right to vote. We got to fight states' rights in terms of closing down police cases. Police must be held accountable. I don't think all police are bad. I don't even think most are bad. But those that are need to be held accountable. Now, black unemployment's doubled. The number of blacks being put in prison has accelerated the last seven years. Just look it up to all-time records. Just search. Blacks incarcerated all-time high. The social welfare net for inner-city blacks has been removed partially. But it's okay because Obama's supposedly black. I guess he is part African. I guess we're all kind of African at the end of the day. That's where humans, they believe, originated. But then if you expand on that, The federal prisons are full of black people. But it's okay because she noticed the last attorney general was black and the new attorney general is black and a woman, even better. Better not criticize her or you're sexist too, not just racist. That's a double goodie. It's all about blacks in the inner city seeing the feds as the savior. So they'll say federalize, federalize, and the police departments will roll over so they get left alone. If you try to control the border, if you try to arrest drunk drivers or illegals or felons or arsonists like Sheriff Arpaio, you get SWAT teamed and you get a federal indictments and federal lawsuits because the feds work for the private, run-for-profit, federal-in-name-only reserve that says it's above the law. So the federal reserve's above the law, and no one ever dare talk bad about it. And I guess the president's above the law now. Everything is, is above the law except the Congress and the people and the legislature. See, everything that's actually constitutional, oh, is under attack. It needs to be dismantled. But we better trust the bureaucracy and the foreign interest because Alan Greenspan said so and Al Sharpton 
the thug who doesn't even have to pay his taxes. Well, of course, he's a made man. He's the Don Carleone of Brooklyn. We're on the of march.